we've been doing it the same way for a long, 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 long time. This is Peter Pulitzer, sometimes known as Herbert Pulitzer. He is the grandson of newspaper publisher Joseph Pulitzer. In the 1970s, he was one of America's colorful and eligible Palm Beach, Florida playboys. This is Roxanne Pulitzer. She is a former cheerleader and Peter's second wife. They married in the mid-1970s and had twin boys together. Then their relationship exploded onto the American news headlines in late 1982. Their messy divorce became a circus. Hunter Thompson felt compelled to come and plant himself in the Florida courtroom. His article was one of only a few he published in the 1980s. The trial produced a gravity all of its own pulling into the courtroom an array of Palm Beach socialites and some metaphysical creatures too, like Satan. The Pulitzer divorce began a decades-long tradition of estranged spouses making the wildest of accusations about each other. Between each of the Pulitzers, one variously accused the other of adultery, incest, drugs, occultism, orgies, more drugs, and an ongoing lesbian relationship. Whew. I guess that's how the other half lives. During the trial, Roxanne Pulitzer's spiritual advisor, Janice Suwami, testified that Mrs. Pulitzer had become depressed after breaking off an affair with a drug runner named Brian Richards. Her Swami then testified that Mrs. Pulitzer got involved in the occult through tarot readings advising about her romantic liaisons. For his part, Peter Pulitzer accused his wife of affairs with three other men and one socialite young woman. He identified the woman as Jacqueline Kimberly. She was the 30-something wife of then 76-year-old James Kimberly, heir to the Kleenex tissue fortune. The Kimberleys divorced one year later. Jacqueline Kimberly denied the lesbian affair, at one point yelling at the prosecutor, you're disgusting, when he asked if she and Roxanne had ever been in bed together naked. Peter Pulitzer claimed that the lesbian relationship started after he, Roxanne, and Jacqueline participated in a threesome. Mrs. Kimberly never denied or confirmed whether the threesome occurred, but did deny having an extended lesbian relationship. Even the 76-year-old James Kimberly took the stand to assert that he had no knowledge of and didn't believe his wife was romantically involved with Roxanne Pulitzer. Not about to be outdone. Roxanne accused her husband of an ongoing incestuous relationship with his adult daughter from his first wife. She even accused the daughter of saying that she was her father's real wife. Both Peter Pulitzer and his daughter denied the relationship. For her part, Pulitzer's daughter did claim that stepmother Roxanne made a pass at her and suggested a lesbian tryst. In the end, Peter Pulitzer got custody of his twins and Roxanne got a sizable alimony. She later resumed a relationship with Peter Pulitzer, returning to court after their second breakup to ask for more alimony, as shown in this period news clip. About two years ago, West Palm Beach socialite Herbert Pulitzer was embroiled in a bitter and headline-making divorce and custody battle with his wife, Roxanne. The case was finally concluded, as was the marriage, but now Roxanne Pulitzer has filed new papers in a Florida court saying the couple last year for a short time, quote, resumed a prior intimate relationship. She now wants increased and extended alimony. By the mid-80s, Roxanne had moved to Aspen, Colorado and begun an on-again, off-again relationship with writer Hunter Thompson. As F. Scott Fitzgerald wrote, the rich are different from you and me. Or as Hemingway wrote about the rich, they were boring and they were repetitious. Take your pick. That's the end of this episode of Sex, A History. Join us again as we delve into our past to show that though laws, attitudes, and emphases change, once we're in the bedroom, We've been doing it the same way for a long, 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 long time. Check out our G Plus page for frequent updates with images, videos, and news from our collective sexual past.